Hello folks and welcome to our screencast. In this video I'm going to show you a useful Apple script which will help you fill in missing information in your iTunes library. So if you've got any albums or any tracks missing track names or artist names and you want to fill them in, this is a really useful tool to do it. Um, there's a few applications out there that do this already but unfortunately they're quite expensive and so on so this is a good free way in doing it so let's get straight into the video and I'll show you how it works so this is my iTunes library and as you can see I've got an album by Adele but unfortunately it's missing all the track names so obviously I could manually input all this but that can be quite time consuming and an inaccurate way of doing it obviously because you might get some typos and so on so using this Apple script um, it's an easier way to basically fill in missing album information or track information so first off you'll need to obviously download the script so go to dubscripts.com and download the script what I will do is leave the link in description below to this page and then just click on download script once the script's finished downloading it'll appear in your download folder what you want to do is open the zip folder then mount the DMG file agree to the terms and here's the script now it's a bit like a little application so what you can do if you want you can drop it into your application folder or into your desktop or whatever so I'll just put mine on the desktop so now the script's been downloaded and is ready to go what you need to do then is go to iTunes store find the actual album you wish to rename and actually create a playlist using the tracks from the iTunes store so drag the first track in to your playlist then just repeat this by dragging each song into that playlist. Pretty simple. Just keep doing it. Make sure you do them in the exact order. If you're not sure um, which, if you've made a mistake or not, you can always quickly jump back to the playlist, check and make sure it's right. And it's really important you do it in the correct order and just do all the tracks. For the purpose of this video, I'm just going to do the six tracks. I can't be bothered to do the whole 12. So now that's done, I need to run the script. So well, before I run the script, sorry, I have to click, um, select all the tracks, so go Command A, selecting all the tracks in the actual playlist which I've just created. Then I need to run the script, like so. It's asking if I'm good to proceed. I can say yes, they're in the correct order. Now I need to select what information I wish to uh, transfer over to my uh, album. I'm going to just go Command, no, sorry, click, click on the top one, Shift, click on the bottom one to, click, uh, to um, select all the information, that's all the information I want to transfer over. OK. Ready to go. Now I have to select the six tracks which I wish to um, change. So click on the top one, click on the bottom one, or for me the six tracks. Then click on the script again and click OK. As you can see it's changed them all for me. pretty good. Unfortunately it hasn't changed the album artwork. If you wish to do that you might have to do that manually. To do that you just um, go command A to select all your tracks. Right click on them and, or command click and go to get info and just drag and drop an image of the album into this box and then select OK. So that's simple as that to change your album artwork as well. Thanks for watching that demo. Hopefully you understood it. There were quite a lot of steps there, so it was quite difficult to make. Um, hopefully it didn't go on too long either, because it was quite a long video. But anyway, yeah, like I said, it's a quite a fiddly little script to use, but it's definitely worth getting because it is free. And unlike these paid applications, they are really expensive. They can cost £20, £25. Pounds. Really, ex really expensive for what they actually do. Um, I personally think this is the best option. So yeah, thanks for watching this video. If you wish to um, follow me on Twitter, you can do at twitter.com slash appscreencast. And thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.